Hey everybody, Who's Mr. Dummies here, back again with another video, and today we are dressed up. We got the nice, my favorite shirt, the white shirt that I wear to concerts and shit, because I, I, I like it, I, I kind of look good in it. And today we're going to be talking about Into the Twister of Terror. reason I dressed up for this book in particular is because it has the almighty rare Twister of Terror Pug! Yeah, um... Jokes aside, this is an interesting GYG that is kind of a reference to The Wizard of Oz, if that wasn't obvious. Yeah, um, it is the 38th book, one of the later GYGs, my first of the later GYG reviews. And uh, I'm kind of excited to talk about it because it shocked me what I gave this for score. And now for the blurb. Twist and Shouts. I love that song. The sky is dark, the windows are rattling, and your aunt and uncle are yelling Twister as they run for the storm cellar. Yikes. You better find some place to hide too. If you head for the storeroom, you might find yourself on a magic carpet ride to nowhere. If you decide to follow your dog, Yo-Yo, you discover that animals can talk during tornadoes. Too bad they're talking about making a meal out of you. The choice is yours from this scary goosebumps adventure that's packed with over 20 super spooky endings! <laughs> Oh, that's crazy. Um, this book was shockingly mid. <laughs> um, this book really was just mid. Um, one of the shockingly mid ones. I had some decently high expectations because I thought that would be really cool to see a GYG kind of referencing uh, the Wizard of Oz. And though it kind of did that, it took its own spin. Like it, pun intended. <laughs> It, it had a very interesting turn of events with weird shit. And there's also a lot of endings. There are 36 endings, if I remember right, if not 34. It's above 30. That is a lot of endings for a Goosebumps book. Um, I know there's like 40 in one of the special editions I'm yet to review, probably coming in December. I plan to read that by then. It's just like, god damn. It's a lot of endings for a normal GYG especially. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the upsides. And now for my upsides, this UIG had good endings all throughout, or rather just decent. I wouldn't call them great, nor really that good. None of them really sucked, though. There might have been a couple, but not a lot that were either great or terrible or bad. All, all throughout, just decent. Um, and that's good. I like, you know, average quality of endings. That's better than just, like, really shitty endings and then really great endings. As much as I like those great endings, they're, the, the shitty ones bring the store down a lot. Decent is better than just, you know. Besides that, I think Yo-Yo was kind of cool, the dog on the cover. He didn't do a lot, and his storyline was short, or rather, his time in the book was short for when he was actually talking to you and stuff. Because Yo-Yo talks. <laughs> um... I like him. One of the more cool animal characters in all of Goose, since there aren't like a villain or some stuff. I I guess they were cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I guess. <laughs> and uh, the main point of my love for this book, besides uh, one other thing, is the mountain or rather Native American stuff. All right, there there is some very interesting stuff in one of these storylines, and that storyline is probably my favorite, where there may or may not be some angry Native American girl, or spirit. She She's a little girl, I believe, and during a trip to a potential Native American cave or hideout, um, a girl might have taken that girl's, you know, that dead girl's possession. Leave it at that. Um, very interesting for a Goosebumps book, but I like it. It's different. We never see stuff like that, especially with Native Americans, and they kind of delve into that a little bit, which I was just, that was weird, but like, okay, cool. And yeah, that whole storyline as a whole, going back to that, was really good. Um, didn't blow me away, but it helps this book not be just, a, you know, bad, which it could have been, honestly. It's mid, not bad, though. Um, besides that, there's one more thing I really liked, and that was the tornado as a character. <laughs> this thing was kind of alive at times. There's different methods, right? There's different ways it was alive, because GYGs never stick to one thing. The whole entirety of a GYG kind of, kind of contradicts itself at times. In this GYG, this is no different. Uh, the tornado is alive because maybe there's a person controlling it, or maybe because it's a giant wind monster. 
But I like those. They're cool. I like the tornado. I like what it was when it was alive and, you know, all the things it was about. It was cool. That's about it for upsides, though. Uh, let's move on to my downsides. Nothing in this book really sucks ass besides maybe something. Um, but it's overall just generally mid. So these are kind of like the mid sides. <laughs> and these bring down the store a decent bit. Um, let's start off with the intro. All right. The intro to the book is one of the worst intros to a GYG. Uh, I feel like they fumbled a little. Like it was their first time writing a GYG, you fucking ghostwriter. Sorry. Um, definitely was a ghostwritten one if possible. Um, and the intro feels off. It's not like your average GYG. It kind of just jumps straight into things. I believe like the first sentence is, Oh no, we have a twister coming. Yeah, it actually is. I just read it. <laughs> um, it's just not a great startup to a GYG. It's very sudden and it just doesn't feel good. Like it's a way too fast. Yeah, it's kind of a rough start. I don't take too much points off for that, but it just bothers me. Main thing that bothers me about this book is the Sally and Spin plot. It probably sounds really weird, and yeah, they're weird names, but these are our main villains that aren't like, you know, giant wind monster. <laughs> uh, Sally and Spin plot was just weird. Like, just not likable. Um, I couldn't get into it. It's kind of like superheroes or whatever villains, only it's more, more around reality, they're more scientific. It's just so weird because they have like a mech suit. <laughs> Ugh. It, it's so bonkers, like, not in a good way, GYG. Um, I didn't like them. And their whole plot line was just dumb. Not a great plot line. Didn't like those characters very much. The animal plot line was just generally kind of mid. I, I, did, I left it kind of vague in my review on Goodreads, but kind of opening up, I think it's just kind of dumb. Like, these animals just talking during Tornado. I know it's kind of like a weird trope. A very rare trope, but it's been done before where animals talk during uh, natural disasters. Garfield did it once, for God's sakes. I think it was much better anyways. <laughs> um, it's kind of weird. Just very weirdly horseshoot into this book. I like it more than the Sally and Spin stuff. Uh, and it feels more unique. But it's just like... I mean, it, I mean, we got Yo-Yo out of it, which was pretty cool, I guess. It's kind of like this, I mean, it's literally just a dog from Men in Black put into this book. That I mean, that's the fucking reference, probably, besides, you know, dog from Wizard of Oz. We got Yo-Yo, uh, the dog from Men in Black. Same dog breed, too. Pretty funny. Um, I don't know. I wasn't a big fan of most of the plot lines, as you can tell. <sighs> Moving on from that. I think the book is just generally not outstanding most of the time. That's what just kind of delves into the midness. Nothing is great besides maybe the Native American stuff, which I thought was really cool and unique. Um, but yeah, just not a lot of great stuff. Didn't really like most of the storylines and uh, weak ass intro. So let's now get to the rating. And now for my rating, I'm going to give this book a 5.5 .5 out of 10. Um, yeah, almost like the this book you could possibly get a 5 out of 10. It just, okay, it is like the weakest GYG next to Dr. Eek. Dr. Eek, ugh, we made a review for that a while ago. Um, yeah, this is definitely better than that, however, because it doesn't suck. Or rather, is borderline bad. This book is just mid. Um, would I recommend it? Maybe. If you think a tornado being GYG would be fun, especially if it gets weird and the plot lines are like so uneven relatable to each other. We have talking animals and we have Native American ghosts and then we have evil scientists with mech suit. What the fuck interests you the most? <laughs> you know, you could delve into this one. Um, maybe looking for one of those. I don't know. Weird, really weird stuff in this book. I didn't like it really. Didn't dislike it. Very mid. Not very recommendable. So yeah, um, that is my review of the Twister of Terror Pug. I mean, Into the Twister of Terror. My bad. I really want that rare item. I'm gonna fucking kill you for it not to look And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.